Today I want to talk to you about uh, uh, using Google Web Fonts with your WordPress. I'm using WordPress uh, 3.5 something something. It's been updated a couple times. Uh, the 2012 theme and I do have child themes I've also used and uh, Google Web Fonts is a free web font service provided by Google and the reason why you, uh, I'm using Google Web Fonts is because I can use different types of fonts uh, that a user may not have on their computer. Now if a user doesn't have it on their computer and they don't have a way of accessing those fonts, they're not going to see the font the way that it's intended. It will probably be replaced with a sans or sans serif or something like that. But if you want the font to uh, display on the computer on the user's uh, screen the way it should, you're going to need to have that font hosted somewhere so they can have access to it. So the first thing you want to do, I found a really good, uh, a really good little plugin called uh, WP Google Fonts. You'll see I already have it installed here, but you can just go to your plugins, uh, new, put in WP Google Fonts up, up here, search it, and it'll pop up first here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go to let me see here settings, and you'll look for Google Fonts. It's not going to say WP; it's just going to say Google Fonts. You go to Google Fonts, and I've already selected one called Pacifico. Uh, I'm just playing around on Pacifico, I'm going to, uh, you, what you would do is you would you could select anything. You can go to let me see here. Go to whoop. You go to Google Fonts. Take a look around, see what you like. Where is it at? There it is. And you can see the different fonts that they have. You can search, whatever. So that's where they're it's at google.com forward slash web fonts. That's where you would go to see that. Okay. So get back here. So I selected Pacifico and, I, and uh, just playing around with it. And let me leave it there. You would select it and it would open up this options box. Once you have the options box open, you'll notice I'm just, because I'm messing around with it, these changes here that you will make will be global. It will be for, for example, for all headline one tags, H1 tags, all paragraph tags, and, you know, in your HTML. Uh, so for now, because I'm not, I'm not set on what I actually want, what I actually want to do. I'm just playing around with it. I just went ahead and set this Pacifico for uh, block. And I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to go to. Okay, I already had it saved, so it didn't do anything so I'm gonna to go to my post and here's where I was testing it out at so I'm gonna go ahead and do this all right let me undo this right here now if you preview it as is right now it's just your typical font that comes with uh, WordPress Go ahead and close that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and block quote it. Now let's look at the preview. And there it is. It's got that Pacifico font in the block quote. Now just keep in mind when you're doing this, uh, it is global. I've yet to find a plugin that will work with the visual editor I think that's what's called in WordPress where you're typing in your message and you can select a font at any given time from some sort of drop down if somebody knows about a a WordPress plugin that will do that I appreciate if you'd leave a comment either at my website at uh, skeeter z71.com or here at YouTube either one if you point me in the right direction I've, I've not been able to find one uh, the only thing I things I've been able to find make global changes so make sure that's the font you want anytime you're writing a paragraph make sure that's the font you want or anytime you're doing a block quote make sure that's the font you want anytime you're doing your heading tags make sure that's the font you want on every post that you write because it will be global okay and on your pages as well so that's about all there is to it to uh, changing your fonts using Google web fonts and I hope this helps someone